Hey guys, Tanner Flowers again with Tennessee Technicians. I want to take you guys on another tour of a crawl space that we just finished up encapsulating right here in Cleveland, Tennessee. We are in the Royal Oak subdivision. This crawl space had several obstacles we had to work around. We've got a very, very big trench I'm getting ready to show you. This wall, I, I had to stand on a ladder to, in, the, in the crawl space of all places just to work on this wall. So um, I'm going to take you guys through the whole thing. And uh, just like always, and show you exactly what I see. And I hope these videos are informative and that you enjoy them. And if you guys got any questions at all, feel free to shoot me an email at tennesseetechnicians at yahoo.com and I'll answer it just as soon as I get the chance. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are at the crawl space entry. Let me get this opened up for us. Okay. Uh, see if I can get in here. This one's a little tricky getting in and out of. <clears throat> okay, guys, here we are. Take you guys up in here to this back side. Check this out. Okay, guys, here's this trench I was telling you about that's actually taller than I am. This wall up here ahead of us. This thing was not even a wall. This was all wide open leading into the front porch. Water used to just pour down here. She literally had a stream going all the way down through here. And of course, I've got a lot of uneven ground in here that we had to work with given the trench and all. But we'll go climb up here and take a look at the rest of the crawl space. Right now, this is the front side of the house here. It goes up, cuts out, which I'll take you through that. Excuse me just one second. I've got to jump up here. Okay, here we go. I did not do the insulation in this crawl space, only the encapsulation work. Let me stop here and give you guys a good shot. When we started this job, the moisture levels in this crawl space were at 78%. The homeowner had reported very, very bad musky odors coming up into her upstairs. Her granddaughter is getting ready to move into this basement and they did not want to have any of what was in here before bothering them and she has seen my videos of our work on Facebook just like you guys are seeing this one and she said can you do that under my house and I said you know I can that's what I do and this was the finished result this is a 12 mil Fiberglass reinforced poly. Need to, like always, thank William Austin with Austin Electric for all of our wiring needs. Need to thank Matt Frytag with Frytag Construction. He's the only guy I know as particular as I am. I mean, just to show you guys, I ain't messing around. I mean, they don't sound the best for no reason. I've earned that. You're not going to find anybody and if anybody is out there that thinks they're a competitor to me that's watching this, you ain't no competitor to me. I don't have any competitors. Nobody takes the time to do these jobs like I do them. Nobody could take the time to do the jobs like this or they would lose their job. This is what you get when you get the owner of a company underneath your house actually working. This is not some stuff that I just sub out and come in here and shoot a video for you guys. This is work that I've done myself, hands-on, handmade, however you want to call it. This unit connects to the drain line, which I'll show you in just one second. Dispenses almost 90 pints of water daily out from underneath the home. You can see the connection up in there with a the P-trap. This cuts over into the next crawl space, which I'll show you that. <clears throat> if I can make this leap pretty big jump about a seven foot jump here Ugh. okay back in the trenches we're in the trenches had a little uneven ground here that I had to deal with man I wish you guys could smell the difference this place is so dry we'll check the monitor here in just a second when I hop out to show you guys what the moisture levels are at once again they were at 78 percent whenever we started this job. <clears throat> Let's go down here under this big uh, lintel. I'm 
once again had to make all had to make all that look at this you know everything up here on this side of the cross space was pretty level this was the toughest part this trench and this big nine foot wall up here show you some of this detail work where these lines are going in these pipes Tennessee technicians we don't play if you've got any musky odors in your crawl space or standing water issues fungus what have you give us a call 423-503-0512 and your crawl space too could be down to 32% moisture 32% down from 78 wonder if it works give us a call or shoot me an email tennesseetechnicians at yahoo.com